Hi guys. How is everyone today? Um, just thought I'd make a little video. Um, over the last few days, it's been quite a lot of grief that's been happening um, online. I don't know whether it's because AD is kind of gone-ish. He's still in the background with a few things he's posting. Um, and no one has anything else to do or to, uh, you know, talk about. But it's, um, it's quite interesting that if people were just here to, you know, get rid of AD, then just get rid of your channel if you haven't got anything to else to talk about apart from um, other creators or abusing other creators. So my uh, video, that's the word, come on. My video that I put up about AD's goodbye had um, stuff in it because he had obviously copied and pasted a article that was written about um, people suffering real bullying and it has been quite prevalent in the South Korean culture in terms of their idols that they have and um, obviously South Korean idols are massive. They are not treated like human beings. Um, they are harassed, abused, cyber bullied. Um, they are, they have these sort of stalkers, like stalkers, I think that's the word, um, called seisangs, I think, um, who actually book, find out where these um, Korean idols are flying to and then book a seat on the same aircraft and then try and get to them that way. They uh, try and get to their apartments, they um, try and take photos of them. And then also, but the, but the female idols always get quite a lot of grief, well, a lot of grief um, about their looks. And obviously in K-pop, things like that, and in um, South Korean culture, again, looks and appearance are a massive, massive thing that um, plastic surgery there is the norm. And um, especially for K-pop idols, the females get a he have to conform to a certain size. They have to be teeny tiny. It's changing now, but when you look at um, K-pop, the women, the girls, because they can't be regarded as women really by their fans. They're, they're sort of infantilized in a way. Um, they have to be very, very teeny tiny, very girly. And if they're not girly and they're the rap um, part of the group, they then, you know, are, are very um, sort of butch femme in a way, um, you know, cargo pants and all this kind of stuff. But they get so much grief for their bodies and the reason that I commented on Alan's goodbye is because when he cut and pasted that, it was about some K-pop idols and um, a woman who allowed um, cameras into her home and she did a guest house or something on, on Korean TV. And um, sadly, um, these women chose out of desperation. It's, it's not the weak way out. To get to that point where you are that bullied and that harassed in your life, um, that you feel there's no other way, unfortunately these um, women didn't make it. They didn't make it uh, through the bullying because it got that bad. Hence why I was so annoyed that he cut and paste that. It, um, it just marginalised that. Um, not only could he not be bothered to um, get something himself in his own mind and write it, pen it down or type it out for his subs. These people that have supported him for all these years. No, no, no. He had to cut and paste something. Just anything. But he didn't pick just anything. He picked something about bullying. Real bullying. And um, two victims of bullying, two or three victims. And there's been many victims in the um, K-pop world. It's, it's terribly sad. Um, and it's down to this constant bullying, especially for the women, about how they look. When is this still acceptable? When is how someone looks any of anyone else's business? How is this not criminal behavior to um, harass and bully anyone, let alone about their looks? Why is it anyone else's business how somebody looks? In 2020, really, have we not come as far as we should? 
um, I live in a very, um, one of the most open cities in the world, um, in London, and everything is accepted. It's, it's, it's the way we are. And um, it's very diverse, possibly one of the most diverse cities in the world. And I love that. And um, it's very odd to me to hear um, abuse and bullying about appearance or what one generally is. Um, and myself fell for, uh, fell for, doesn't make any sense, does it? Um, <laughs> have had it myself. I can't speak what's going on. <laughs> I had it myself. I don't mean to laugh. I'm laughing at myself about what I look like, which is none of anyone else's business. And um, it's, why do I have to then make my channel about me when I don't really want to? Um, because this was a tiny, tiny part, a tiny little appetizer of what these um, people who really get bullied have. And for Alan to cut and paste that and claim that he is in that arena of getting that kind of bullying and suffering in that way and he must take a break. Again, just such a wrench in, in everyone's sort of heart that, and, and, that he would do that, that he would sink that low to, to, be, to trivialise that. Um, I'm trying to get the words out, so please do excuse that I'm not, you know, that um, good at it today. My brain is just not happening. Um, what I'm trying to say is the reason I did the video is because it really got me that he did that. And I know he's gone-ish. Um, he's still posting things. He's uh, just posted a document um, about the Watts case again. So he's still around. I don't know if his Patreon's been shut down, um, but what's left, I guess, is a little bit of a, a chink somewhere. And I think maybe everyone doesn't know how to rearrange themselves now because um, Alan has been such an important part of this community in terms of people really, really needed to get him off. And now what, what does everyone do? Um, but hopefully we can go back to talking about what our interest was, which is true crime, right? That's what the community is about, not miniature dirt wars, where we all have a go at one another and make videos about one another and use YouTube as sort of like little notes that you just sort of scribble around in, in the playground and hand to someone to just um, be nasty about them. I mean, people making videos, then deleting them and sort of scuttling away, it's, 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 it's silly. Let's talk about what we were here originally for, what our first interest was, which is true crime for me. Um, so let me know what's going on in the uh, true crime community in terms of what people are talking about uh, in terms of crimes. And um, there was an interview recently, uh, an article, sorry, in the uh, paper about the true crime community and whether it's right or wrong to um, be talking about these crimes. And it, it is interesting. Morally, is it right to be making videos about such deplorable things? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, and thank you so much for the support, everyone. And uh, if you are receiving any bullying, um, always speak out. There are lots of avenues that you can get help. Um, with so um, always look for those and just don't put up with it um, at all you don't need to um, you are none of anyone else's business apart from your own have a great day everyone and again thank you so much for your support